Hi everybody, this is Renee Signs. Um, <clears throat> finishing up these uh, molds here for the canopy and hatch and uh, stabs. Uh, spent yesterday, better part of yesterday, laying these up. You can see these are already all cured out uh, overnight. And uh, I. Uh, this one here, especially, I, I don't know how many layers I put down. I, I wasn't able to get down my, uh, you know, this is such a small little area to work in, and I, I wasn't able to work that, that bigger cloth in. So I have, this is countless layers of four ounce cloth here. Uh, so, uh, went through a couple of passes on this four ounce. Now I'm just trimming this. Uh, I might have to wait to get my little oscillating saw to uh, to trim the rest of this. That's pretty. That's pretty thick. But uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get my my other shears. Where'd I put those? Um, so anyway, not much else to do. Yesterday there was a uh, pretty big, uh, we had a hurricane hit the lower Texas coast, so it was a crazy night. Uh, it's still a crazy day. It's still out there churning. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead. I think what I'm going to do next on these is I'll just take these parting planes off because uh, it's uh, I'm gonna need my little saw to trim that I'll have to do that outside it's gonna be too much of a mess um, and one problem I'm gonna have I'm gonna show you now here's the stab mold I don't know if you can see it real good but uh, and it's cured out and it's got a lot of glass on it uh, this has got some of that 20 ounce cloth that I put down. I put here in the center section, I put down mm, about maybe five or six layers just right here in the center section of that, of that cloth. Of that, uh, of that, yeah, that 20 ounce cloth. <clears throat> reason I did that was in my excitement of getting these things molded, I forgot to put my dots. Uh, so. There's no mold registers on the bottom of this. Um, so I thought if I built up this center section, um, I could pop off the parting planes on the bottom and drill uh, at least two holes uh, here and, um, and then fill them with a uh, surface coat. Uh, and I can, I can use a uh, a dot on some of the, you put it back on the parting plane and, and, and kind of mush some uh, surface coat through, have it ooze up and, and I can mold that that dot before I do my other half. So that's kind of the plan. Uh, it doesn't make sense right now, but I'll, I'll show it to you when I when I do it. Um, but anyway, let me get to, let's start with the smaller ones. Let's see how these came out. Now there's the bottom. There's my plug. Uh, I've got these little metal pieces that go into the plug. And let's see how, how should I start this? I think I'll start with the sides. So I got smart this time. Well, not when it came to the dots, but when it came to the parting planes, I didn't use so much hot glue this time. That was a uh, that was a pain getting all that hot glue off. Uh, I didn't use it as much. Yeah, I, I used a, a good bit on these parting planes, but I didn't use a lot when I glued my plug to the parting planes. So, uh, that was part of the problem I had with that last set of moles. I'm calling those the practice, practice moles. I probably won't use them. Anyway, I'm just scoring this. Loosen 
clean this up. And what I'm doing is I'm just scoring this, cutting on this hot glue that I laid down. And I laid down quite a bit. Surprised how well this hot glue really does hold. Alright, let's see. Where's my uh my little mini crowbar and I chisel. That's all I want to do. Bit of clay. Bit of clay on that. What's that? Emergency alert. Flash flood warning. Yep, yeah, we knew that. It's a hurricane. Yeah, we just had uh, Hurricane Harvey hit about, uh, I don't know, about. Uh, 150 miles south of here, uh, and uh, we're getting we're getting a lot of the wind and rain now. We're expected to get a lot more of it throughout the weekend, even through uh, up to Wednesday possibly. So, <clears throat> and I got a lot of family and friends still in the Corpus Christi area, so uh, I've been up pretty late keeping an eye on on the situation down there and and uh and here uh but not so concerned about here we're used to getting a lot of rain we're used to flooding uh, i know there's i know when to <coughs> hunker down and when to pack up and leave so uh, i'm ready here while I was stuck here I thought I'd make a few videos and work on some moles. Um, that wasn't good, I shouldn't be doing that. So I thought just making smaller molds would be easier, but I really think these bigger molds will be, I mean, because part of the problem with these smaller ones is just having room to get your hand and all that in there to work on the laying up cloth, but I've been doing these smaller ones, kind of practicing uh, for the bigger ones. I kind of wanted to get that learning curve down uh, before I worked on the fuselage and the uh, wings. But now I'm kind of looking forward to them because I'm thinking those might be a little easier. I got bigger areas to work. Uh, so 
especially if I've had all my cloth cut ahead of time. It might be easier. These small guys were a pain. I mean, it wasn't that bad of a big a deal, but. Alright. Uh, and this tape, you might see some of this tape. Uh, I just put this down here because this is a, an exposed edge. And when I was putting on wax and uh, PVA, you know, these little bits of uh, particle board were always blowing up and loose, getting loose. And, mucking up the works uh, when it came to polishing and waxing and all that. So I just put this tape down just to keep all that stuff to a minimum. It also gave me a place to write. Here, I'll, 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 this piece of tape I was keeping track of how many coats of wax I was putting down because I had so many moles going at the same time. reuse those when I do these. Or actually, for this one, I don't need party, more uh, party planes. Uh, this is a hatch mold. This is pretty much done. I'm just going to do a little U-shaped bottom piece so I could lay the bottom up. And this guy might be done. That side's loose. Let me loosen this side. <clears throat> I like this little rubber. Rubber mallet. Alright, that was a good sound. Bottom. I wanted to make sure my mold or my plug stayed in the same spot. There's that. We're getting there. <coughs> there's just some clay. Anyway, there's the bottom of my uh, canopy. No, uh, bottom of the canopy plug. Looks like I got a little, uh, I don't know how that got in there. I clayed it up pretty good, I thought. <clears throat> That's some seepage there from the uh, surface coat getting underneath the, the plug somehow. I'm going to have to definitely chisel that out. Yeah, I don't know how they got in meat there. <clears throat> that just uh, that just shows you how uh, you know it's hard. It was hard to see those corners when I was uh, claying them up. 
because uh, these these little side walls were, were getting in the way. But anyway, that's that should be all right. It'll come out a little bit in the part, but I can trim. I just trim that off. All right, let's do these back sides now. Oh, that was easy. I just chipped that a little bit. That's all right. It's way out, way out on the sides. I don't know if that's a chip or if that's just how it molded. There it is. There's my canopy. All right. So that's that for this. 